guys, what's up? My name is Tori Peters. I am a teen author and entrepreneur. And today I am talking about a thing called the Law of Association. So the Law of Association works like this. The five closest friends you have are where you will be in five years. So what does that mean? It means the people you spend your time with are the people you are most like or you will become most like so if we're talking about a group of friends you know you hang out with those people all the time you do things and honestly a simple example of this is just picking up their speech patterns uh generally when you hang out with a person long enough you pick up how they talk i personally i have picked up my friends laughs before which is really weird um, and it can be a little awkward sometimes, but that is a thing and I've, I've done it a few times with my friends. That's a super simple example, but you also pick up how they talk to other people. So like when you're say a little kid and you know, you'll end up picking up how much respect those your friends have for adults. And sometimes you'll end up talking to your friends like they are to your adults. Uh, to adults like your friends talk to adults so sometimes that can be good and sometimes that can be bad but it all just sort of depends on like who you are and how it and who you're hanging out with so this all comes down to the theme of choosing your friends wisely because you know and i know it seems cliche like oh yeah you know choose your friends wisely like adults always say that to teenagers and kids and things like that but it really does matter because when you when it all comes down to it if the people you hang out with the most are the people you're going to become wouldn't it make sense for you to not hang out with people who aren't going anywhere who aren't uh, heading to the same goals that you have wouldn't it make sense to hop into a community of people where you know they are following the same morals and ideals and heading the same places that you want to go and i know that can be difficult because sometimes you know you just don't have that many friends or you just don't have a whole lot of uh like options as far as friends go but uh honestly it makes sense and it's way better for you to you know choose friends that have really good values and choose friends who are going to places you want to go because otherwise you'll just stay exactly where you are. I like to say show me your five closest friends and I'll show you where you'll be in five years and I feel like that's really true because if you choose friends who are making stupid decisions eventually you're probably going to start making stupid decisions just because it's so much easier to be like the people around you and it's so much harder to go and skip go against the grain and go against the flow um and honestly it's it just makes way more sense to choose your friends that are going the way that you want to go so i hope this has been encouraging and here's a challenge to you guys look at your five closest friends and decide are they going where i want to go and if not maybe you need to take a step back and take some time away from these friends you know i'm not saying completely cut them off and be like we can't be friends because this person on youtube told me to not be friends with you anymore absolutely not that's not what i'm saying at all but you may want to take a break from them and just say hey you know i love you but i think I, we need some time to you know hang out with other people for a little bit okay thanks i'll talk to you soon all right and you know just take a break sometimes that sometimes you need breaks from friends so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah hit like if this made sense to you and yes so uh have a great adventure today and don't let your lights go out bye guys <laughs>